Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Mandy Reinig. I am the Study Away Director and I'm excited to welcome you to the next in our series of Study Away Faculty Instructor Interviews. And today I have Dr. Elizabeth Malcolm. Welcome. Hi. And Dr. Malcolm, we're going to just get right into it. And my first question for you today is, what is the title of the course that you typically teach? the location, and when did you first start taking students away? The course that I teach is Seminar in Alaska, Natural and Cultural Sustainability, and it's taught through the Environmental Studies Department, and sometimes we also offer it as an honors course through the Batten Honors College. And we started, first taught it in the summer of 2017, course that we developed with Dr. Scott Ramsey, who's a graduate of Virginia Wesleyan, who lives in Alaska, and he started his own um, institute, the Alaska Outdoor Science School, and um, so we partnered with him, and he helps teach the course, and, you know, he's lived there for many years now, and he is our local expert who helps set up our itinerary and helps bring in local experts to give us lectures and lead us on tours. That's great. So what are some of the can't miss sites um, and things to do on your course? Well, we start in Haines, Alaska. Sorry, we start in Juneau and then most of the trips in Haines. So in Juneau, the, the site that we go see is the Mendenhall Glacier. And before we go to the glacier, we have a lecture from a glaciologist from the Juneau Ice Field Research Team. So we learn all about glaciers, uh, how they're changing, how they affect the geology. And then we get to go to see the Mendenhall Glacier and kind of see what we learned in action. And then we take a ferry to Haines, which is this beautiful ferry ride. And we usually see whales and bald eagles along the way, great scenery. Um, and then while we're based in Haines, we do a lot of you know, local hikes to see the geology and biology with local experts on that. Um, we go to the museum in town to learn about the history of the area. We go to a, uh, the Klingit Cultural Center there, which is the Native Alaskan group there. That's really one of the amazing um, visits we take to learn about their history and their culture and also their relationship with, with the place and nature. And then, um, one of the favorites of the students is always we do a rafting trip on the Chilkat River with an overnight camping trip, which is really amazing. Excellent. Can you tell me about a memorable experience or two from one of your past courses? Sure. Um, well, I think that rafting trip that I mentioned is probably one of the, the most memorable. It's not whitewater rafting like you might do in West Virginia. It's pretty um, calm flow. Um, and we don't paddle. Um, Dr. Scott Ramsey, he was a rafting tour guide for a long time. So he paddles one boat and then he has um, another uh, expert paddle the other boat. So luckily we don't have to actually paddle and steer. Um, we do have to, when we get, sometimes we get to shallow sections where the boat kind of hits bottom and then they make us bounce up and down while they get us unstuck. Um, you know, but it's beautiful. You go you're going down the river and you kind of, it's very peaceful and you just have a different view looking up at the mountains. We see bald eagles. Once we saw a moose on that trip, and then we just, you know, he just, they just pick a spot along the river to camp overnight. That seems like a good spot. And so, you know, it's not a campsite. Um, you know, it's really, you know, wilderness camping. Um, and some of the students haven't camped before, but you know, it's safe and they all enjoy it. And it's really memorable. Um, you know, sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you might see like, you know, moose footprints or some other tracks near your, you know, near the campsite or something like that. Um, but you really feel like you're, you're in, in the wilderness, which is really amazing. It sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. um, what can students expect to learn by participating on uh, your course? So one big fo focus of the course is learning about that part of Alaska, that southeastern Alaska, the geology and the biology. So we bring in experts who will do a lecture and then take us on a hike. So we learn about 
how plate tectonics have shaped the geology of the region. And then we go on a hike and look at the rocks and the mountains and the features. We learn about the glaciers, as I mentioned. We learn about the biology, so the, the ecosystems and the animals that live there. The, they have um, different types of salmon, which are really important culturally. We learn about, um, you know, they'll, he'll bring in a fisheries biologist to tell us about that. And then, so one part's kind of the natural environment and learning about that. But then the other part is thinking about how humans relate to the environment. And there are lots of different examples. And so um, through those examples, students think about also their own relationship to nature and the environment. So for example, when we go to the muse history museum, we learn about, um, you know, the history of people looking for gold in Alaska, you know, or these other, um, you know, white men coming up, looking, you know, trading furs, looking for gold, kind of thinking of the, the environment as a resource um, with financial value, and that's how they valued it. And then we have, you know, totally different points of view when we go to the Klingit Cultural Center and we hear about their relationship to nature and how, you know, it's so much a part of their culture and their history, but it's also important today to them and how they're keeping those traditions alive by um, fishing for salmon and hooligan and still trying to make some of those traditional, um, keep their traditional way of life alive. And then we also meet Alaskans who are trying to um, have as little environmental impact as they can, almost like living off the grid you know, putting in their own solar panels or hydroelectric or, you know, growing their own vegetables and trying to have as little impact on the environment as possible. And so it's, it's a real contrast to see those different perspectives and think about sustainability. That sounds great. All right, so I have one last kind of statement for you. Can you uh, finish the following set sentence? I uh, lead SteadyWay courses because... I would say it's because when you immerse yourself in a new place, it gives you a new perspective and it, you start maybe thinking about things in a new way and it challenges you in a way that, that you're not normally challenged when you're in your comfort zone and in a place that's familiar. Excellent. Well, thank you, Dr. Malcolm, for spending some time with us and talking about your Study Away course. I greatly appreciate it. And everyone stay tuned for, for more in our series. And we'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks.